Hello there. After a really long time, it's uh, now time for a new episode of uh, Wildlife Trip. And today is the time when, uh, when the trip is already uh, happening. It's just uh, an afternoon and uh, me and my fiance are going to do a wildlife photography. Hopefully we will be uh, successful, but who knows? It's wildlife photography, you never know. So uh, yeah, it's uh, already sunny weather and a uh, little bit of uh, clouds, but uh, still it uh, looks like uh, it uh, will be okay. It was raining today, but uh, now uh, it's actually really, really good weather for uh, photography. So hopefully it will be uh, very good. We are uh, going to photograph uh, roe deer. Last time we were here, uh, it was really cloudy, but we saw a roe deer um, lying in the grass and we just uh, saw his uh, antlers uh, like about the about the uh, grass so hopefully this time he will be uh, in front of uh, our lenses uh, in the in the full beauty so let's get to it We waited quite a long time. The roe deer first show up quite early, we didn't even hope for this. The sun was still quite high, 
We photographed this roe deer together last summer, so we were happy that the roe deer is still alive, because last year the hunters wanted to kill this beautiful animal. Fortunately, we were able to enjoy these moments together with this beautiful old roe deer. His head is almost completely grey. He is very careful and it is clear that he is experienced. He reminds me of Felix Sultan's Bambi. He is a real prince. The roe deer grazed and after a while disappear into the bushes. It started to blow unpleasantly and I was afraid that wind would betray us if the roe deer showed up again. The roe deer, which we photographed right after arriving at the place, lay in the grass and nothing was visible at all. That's when we enjoy being side by side. It's so nice to be out there in the magic wood with my law. The sun was setting closer and closer to the forest and I believe that the roe deer will return. He did really came back. This time he stayed until dark. He grazed peacefully and ignored us at all. After a while we noticed a female roe deer that began to approach him. She was probably pregnant. The old deer barked at her a few times, but uh, then they moved closely to each other. They didn't notice us at all and we were very happy about it. It was so wonderful to watch this couple so close to us. Even more beautiful was that they behaved completely naturally and didn't know about us at all. The sun was shining the wind was blowing softly.
We both hope this wasn't our last meeting with this old and beautiful roe deer. But that wasn't all. This short afternoon wildlife trip was supposed to offer us something else. Something I didn't even hope could happen at all. The sun was no longer shining in the sky, but we both enjoyed the peace of the forest, which was going to sleep. Somewhere a few meters in front of us, the pheasant made itself known and at one point I heard movement, rather fast walking, in the bushes next to us. I assumed it was a pheasant. However, the movement into the bushes continued until it got right in front of us. We saw the grass moving, but nothing more. So it couldn't be a pheasant. I thought it was a hare. I stood up to see into the grass and that's what happened. The badger's head peeked out of the grass, about five meters from us. I was so surprised that I didn't have time to take a picture of the visitor. The badger then continued on his journey and I only managed to take a picture of his back in the grass. Till this day, I can't believe I saw him. Of course, I'm still not very happy that I couldn't take the photo. I've never been this close to a badger before. However, I'm grateful to the Magic Forest for this unforgettable experience. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked my video, please support me by subscribing this channel. Goodbye. See you in the Magic Forest.